Unseasonably warm weather dominates the pattern for the Great Lakes region and much of the eastern seaboard. So in Chicago, 54 degrees, lots of sunshine around for Sunday. Look at Monday into the 60s we go. Winds develop though and maybe some showers late in the day. Here we go with temperatures crashing 35 on Tuesday with falling temperatures throughout the afternoon and maybe a few flurries in the afternoon in the evening hours. That same system will be pushing closer to New York but won't be moving through in the short term here because temperatures will be hovering around 50 for the next two days. Then on Tuesday, afternoon showers with the front, but still a high of 58 degrees. In Atlanta, what we'll see is 68 with sunshine. In fact, dry and quiet for Monday as well. Then that rain chance comes in on Tuesday with a high temperature of 68 degrees. And into Miami, low 80s, partly cloudy skies, fair weather conditions, and no rain expected. And into Texas, for Dallas, we'll see 75 degrees for a high on Sunday. A few pop-up thunderstorms are possible Monday with a high of 78. And that same front we're tracking for the eastern half of the country is going to usher in cooler air for Tuesday with a high temperature of 56 degrees. Then as we head to Denver, partly cloudy 67. Here's the crash in the temperature on Monday, 37, but the sun returns Tuesday. Temperatures will be in the middle 40s for the most part. In Phoenix, 76 degrees with partly cloudy skies. Touch cooler for Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday, full sunshine and a high of 70. In LA, 65 with partly cloudy skies. Very quiet as we start the work week and temperatures begin stepping into the lower 70s. Very comfortable there. Clouds in Seattle with 45 degrees, staying in the mid 40s for the next three days, but we start that clearing trend, especially by Tuesday afternoon. And then into Minneapolis, it'll be cloudy with 50 degrees and then 54. Look at the crash in the temperature. We dropped to 22 for a daytime high on Tuesday. Pope Francis is sending Cardinal Blaise Supich to Puerto Rico on Sunday, and CBS2 will be there. CBS2's Adrena Biggis tells us why the Cardinal says he wants to go. More than two months have passed since Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico. Some progress has been made, but homes on the island nation are still in shambles. Nearly half the island is still without power. Fresh water is in short supply, and there is still limited access to basic necessities. We can highlight the real need that's there and hopefully uh, bring about more aid uh, through the generosity of people. On his trip to Puerto Rico on Sunday, Cardinal Blaise Supich says he'll bring spiritual and financial support to the people and their pastors. The Holy Father asked me to visit with each of the bishops to go around the island to each of the diocese to see what's happening in each place. Pope Francis asked Supich to pass along his deep concern to the victims of Hurricane Maria. When natural disasters strike, the Archdiocese mobilizes responders and sends supplies. I hope to visit with those on the ground working to distribute those items, everything from chainsaws to diapers, here from the people of Chicago. Audrina Bigas, CBS2 News. CBS2's Erin Kennedy is traveling to Puerto Rico with the Cardinal. You can see her report starting Sunday night. In sports, Hector Rendon won't be back with the Cubs, but they did sign free agent reliever Dario Alvarez. The White Sox signed former Cubs catcher Wellington Casillo. Aaron Boone is the new New York Yankees manager. The Wolves beat the Ice Hogs Friday 4-3 in overtime, and in college basketball, Northwestern beat Illinois 72-68. For the latest headlines, day or night, head to CBSChicago.com. I'm Jim Williams. Have a great day.